Virtually every time I attend a social gathering, the conversation inevitably turns to customer service. Somebody relates a horror story about how they were recently mistreated. The listener then relates an equally bad experience. When we talk of customer service, the emotions always seem to run high. What's happening to customer service in America today? Why are there so many times that customers find their expectations not being met by American businesses? Today, a vast number of companies treat their customers with apathy and indifference. Customers are often viewed as an inconvenience and an interruption. Why should the customer be viewed as a problem instead of a welcomed guest? Employees often don't realize that the customer pays for salaries, overhead, and profits, and enables the company that they work for to provide their job. Which reminds me of a story. One of my friends goes into a restaurant and is getting horrendous customer service. So he says to the waiter, would you please call over the manager? The manager comes over, he looks right at the manager and says, would you tell your server that he is the overhead and I'm the profit? I mean, that really summarizes the whole thing. It's impossible to achieve profitability without customers. Those companies who take the approach that the customer is first in every transaction will flourish in good economic times and bad. If you don't render astounding customer service, one of your competitors will. Exceptional customer service ensures loyal customers that will spend their hard-earned dollars with your company. Second key is improve the quality of communication. And if I may, let me use another domestic example. You ever notice how a parent and child communicate compared to a grandparent and grandchild? Of the two, parent, child, grandparent, grandchild, who has the better quality of communication? Most people would say the grandparent and grandchild. Now why? The cynics say it's because the grandparent and grandchild share a common enemy. And I realize there's a lot of truth to that. But if you look close, what you'll see is typically the parent is bringing the child up to the parent's level, whereas the grandparent does what? The grandparent goes down to the child's level, physically, emotionally, psychologically. I call that adaptability. Adaptability is your ability to change your approach, to change your strategy, depending on the situation of the person you're dealing with. That improves the quality of communication. Think about when you call businesses as a customer yourself. What do you normally hear when they answer? Most companies rapidly answer, ABC company. If you answer your phone that way, it does nothing to help your company. Seems like in America, there's a race to see what company can be the most mediocre. However, when your phone rings, you have an opportunity to create a moment of magic or a moment of misery. It's totally within your power to create one or the other.